हेलो एवरीवन इन आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ बोरोन बोरोन इज़ द एलिमेंट व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू ग्रुप थर्टीन ऑफ पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड इट हैज़ एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी वन बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स आउटर शल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ऑफ एन एस टू एन पी वन इट शोज द पॉसिबल ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स ऑफ प्लस वन प्लस टू एंड प्लस थ्री अमंग विच प्लस थ्री इज़ द मोस्ट स्टेबल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन before moving on to the uh, compounds of boron let us study about the properties of boron boron is found in the earth crust in the form of borax that is na2b4o7 10 water and kernite that is na2b4o7 7 water we will later study about the properties of borax and its structure moving on to the properties of boron it exists in two allotropic forms one is amorphous boron and other is crystalline boron when reacting with air since both oxygen and nitrogen are the components of air it forms boron oxide and boron nitride with the formula b2o3 and bn respectively on treating with water it basically reacts with steam and not normal water hot or cold it gives boric oxide that is b2o3 and hydrogen gas is liberated on treating with acids that are mainly oxidizing acids like h2so4 it forms boric acid that is h3bo3 next is the action of alkali it reacts with fused alkalis that is naoh and koh to form metaborates such as k3bo3 or na2bo3 etc and hydrogen gas is liberated action of metals it reacts with highly reactive metals on heating to form metal borides like magnesium boride calcium boride and other metal borides boron is a strong reducing agent as it can get oxidized from b plus 1 to b plus 3 because of its strong tendency to exist in plus 3 oxidation state it reduces other elements very quickly for example here we can see that it is reducing co2 and it is forming b2o3 plus elemental carbon is left as such lastly but not least it resembles silicon that is diagonal relationship with silicon because of its all major properties related to its size resemblance ionization enthalpy and other physical properties next we are going to start with the first compound of boron that is diborane diborane is basically the hydride of boron which has a general formula of b2h6 first of all we will study the preparation of diborane it is formed by the reduction of bf3 with the reducing agents like lithium hydride or sodium hydrides the reaction is mentioned below where we we get p2h6 plus the metal fluoride is left behind secondly it is formed by the reduction of boric hydroxide with water for example b2o3 plus water gives aluminium b2h6 plus al2o3 next is reduction of the chloride with hydrogen in presence of metals such as copper or aluminium which acts as reducing agent basically it gives b2h6 plus the metal chloride or acid chloride is left behind next is reduction of bf3 with lithium aluminium hydride as lithium aluminium hydride is a very strong reducing agent it reduces bf3 to form diborane plus lithium aluminium fluoride next is by treatment of metal borides with concentrated phosphoric acid for example it is mentioned here that mg3b2 that is magnesium boride reacts with phosphoric acid to form magnesium phosphate and diborane is left behind next come the most important feature of diborane that is structure and bonding in diborane diborane is basically a dimer of the monomer that is bh3 since bh3 is not a stable entity because it is electron deficient therefore it dimerizes to form b2h6 which has a bridged bridged structure where two boron atoms are linked by two hydrogen bridges and overall we have a bridged structure as shown in the figure in the structure of diborane we have basically two types of bond with hydrogen one is terminal hydrogen and other is the bridged hydrogen the most important characteristic features of diborane in its structure are that in diborane 
boron is transformed from sp2 in bh3 from the hybridization of boron in bh3 is sp2 to sp3 in diborene that is in b2h6 it consists of four bh terminal covalent bonds and two bhb bridging bonds these bhb bridging bonds are basically two three center two electron bonds that is a total of two electrons are shared between three atoms therefore there are known as bridge bonds or three center two electron bonds next feature is that the terminal bhb bonds are perpendicular to the bridged bhb bonds as a result of which at a time only six atoms lie in a plane the atoms that i'm circling will lie in a plane 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these atoms lie in one plane whereas this bhb bond will be perpendicular to the terminal bonds as contributed to the sp3 hybridization of the boron that is three bonds will lie in one plane and the fourth bond would be perpendicular to those bonds next is the molecule is electron deficient and it lacks two lone pair from stability bridging bonds are longer than the terminal bond usually as there are three center two electron bonds so it is contrary to our exception that these are stronger because two electrons are shared between three atoms therefore in actual the bond has to be stronger and stronger bonds are always shorter but uh, it is uh, reverse in this case that the bridge bonds are longer than the terminal bonds next is we can illustrate it with the help of some examples like diborane on reacting with methyl chloride four hydrogen atoms are replaced by methyl groups and the hydrogen atoms that are replaced are the terminal hydrogen atoms here we can see that the hydrogen terminal hydrogens are replaced by methyl groups next is what is the concept of bridge bonding therefore bridge bonding basically occurs in compounds in order to remove electron deficiency and there are certain conditions which needs to be satisfied before bridge bondings and these conditions are the molecule the should not have back bonding that is there should not be any back donation between atoms secondly the molecule should not be sterile crowded there should not be any hindrance or bulkier group present on the molecule in which bridge bonding is taking place and secondly the ring formed as a result of bridge bonding should be stable means it should be either a five membered ring six membered ring preferably but in some cases four membered rings are also stabilized next is the properties of diborane first of all treatment with oxygen it forms boric oxide and water and this reaction has a very high heat of enthalpy that is minus 2.37.7 kJ per mole due to this much high amount of energy released during this process this reaction is basically applied in jet fuels to produce energy second p2h6 on treatment with methanol it gives BOME thrice that is trimethoxy boron when hydrogen is released next is on treatment with lithium hydride that is a reducing agent it forms lithium borohydride which again acts as a very good reducing agent next is the treatment of diborane with base basically what happens is that larger bases leads to symmetrical cleavage of the diborane molecule like here in this case we are using trimethyl amine it being a bulkier base it divides the diborane molecule into two equal halves two symmetrical halves and we get the compound with the formula me3nbh3 next is on treatment with smaller bases such as ammonia it leads to unsymmetrical cleavage of the compound and we are left with bh4 minus unit and one is bh2 unit substituted by the ammonia group next is on treatment with chlorine it forms boron trichloride plus hydrogen gas is released on treatment with excess of bcl3 that is boron trichloride on treatment with diborane it forms b2h5cl plus bhcl2 unit b2h6 on treatment with excess of ammonia it form bnx that is boron nitrite and secondly in when diborane is treated with ammonia in a ratio of 1 is to 1 we get a compound with general formula b3n3h6 which is known as borazine and is an important commercial compound of 
boron the structure of borazine is mentioned above it has much similar structure to benzene and is also known as inorganic benzene it consists of alternate b and double bonds where each boron and nitrogen consist of one hydrogen atom present on it this was all about the chemistry of boron compounds and the compound we covered under the section is diborane diborane is an important commercial compound of boron and it has found many practical applications in various fields mainly in the fields of reducing agents whenever we use it in next section we will cover about two more important compounds of boron that is boric acid and other is borax thank you